After four months of hard work, 36 teams had two days to prove they deserved to be champion. Somewhere out there we may have the next Wright brothers. But these teams aren't building planes, they're building robots. The teams build a robot completely out of Legos and compete against other teams and the clock. The event was sponsored by the First Lego League, or FLL, which is a nonprofit organization that works to inspire STEM learning in kids and teens. It shows them that, that doing robots and, and science, technology, engineering, mathematics is not as difficult as what it actually sounds. And First Lego League and FIRST programs in general really create that sense of community. So these smart kids feel like they're home when they're participating in the robotics. And Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is always willing to help the future scientists of Ohio. The wright Pat Educational Outreach Office uh, is the lead for the state of Ohio. This is a chance for us to develop our new, uh, our youngsters that are going to be in the future. The competition was serious. For like the last week, we've stayed after school till like 7.30, almost four hours a day. But they had fun not taking themselves too seriously. We wear these silly hats to kind of um, break the ice a little bit. So we made it so that the judges will never forget us. After all the matches had run their course and the champion had been crowned, the real winner was anyone who was lucky enough to participate. Robotics competitions are one of the most fun you will ever have. Their designs may not be turning the scientific community on its head, but these competitors are working hard today so that in the future they can do just that. Reporting for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Public Affairs, 